What's up everybody and welcome back to Wolfie Reviews, where I take a look at the newest IDW outings of everyone's favorite blue hedgehog, dramatically read it back to you, then give it a review and a score. Today's issue is number 60. Hit that like button and if you're new here, why not consider subscribing for more comic reviews like this one. And let me know what you guys think of this comic in the comment section below. Without further ado, let's get right into the dramatic reading, followed by my review. Enjoy! New Imperial City. Our comic begins of Tango falling from the sky. Shoot, shoot, shoot! Nothing to grab. Whisper, I'm sorry. Ah! Ah! As Whisper makes contact with the ground, she's surprised to find that she's unharmed, phasing completely through the ground before reforming above it. However, as this is happening, Metal makes his entrance as he begins to give chase. Oh! Don't panic, Tangle. You can do this. Using one of the fake emeralds, Tangle makes a rebound into a dark alley, disappearing into the ground and temporarily losing Metal Sonic. Gah. Whew. He's gone. What did that trap thing do to me? Oh well, it's not good, but at least it's useful. I've got to tell Sonic and the others what's up. <sighs> Lanolin would know how to find them, and Whisper could get us there. Whisper, I promised. But what if I... No! Nope! Nope! Don't think about it! Keep moving forward! That smoke is as good a lead as any! You'll figure this out, Tangle! You have to! Back of our heroes, they're still debating whether or not to go after Eggman. Like I said, it's simple! We know where Dr. Eggman is, so let's go get him! Do you have any idea what kind of nonsense we found the last time we tried to raid a weird Eggman tower thing? I'm not afraid of Eggman! If we work together, we'll win for sure! Let's not be rash. It would be naive to assume victory before we begin. Anything we can do to increase our odds of success is essential. And our best bet at that is rescuing Shadow and Omega. That does make sense. It's always best when cooler heads prevail. Finally found you guys! Ah! Oh, I'm so sorry. It was all reflexes. What the heck happened to you? A semi-solid state? Remarkable. What a strange power. Hey! We found out some important stuff and the diamond cutters are in trouble, so everybody chill! Tangle, did the trap we ran into do this? Yeah, I don't think it's what Eggman meant for it to do though. Whisper and Lanolin, they're... Oh, look out! Just as Tangle is starting to explain things, a trap nearly takes out Sonic. He used me. Let me lead him here. What? Huh? Don't let those things get close! Ha! That green light! I think those are the same kind of traps that got the diamond cutters! Not on my watch! Nice! Looks like we've got no choice. Let's do this! Oh no you don't! We've got big problems, no time, and most importantly, I am not in the mood! With zero patience left, Amy strikes the ground, causing it to collapse underneath metal. Just the kind of direct diplomacy we need. We should get moving before he comes back. What did you need to tell us, Tangle? Oh, right. We figured out how to take down the city. But first, where's Shadow? It's hard to believe this is the same street as before. You really think he's still here? He better be, for all our sakes. Quiet. We don't know what enemies may still be lurking around here. If any of those androids were left, we would have seen them by now. Ugh! Omega! There you are. Still in one piece this time, big guy? Affirmative. As soon as I am free, I will exact my revenge on the treacherous terrain. Another cave-in happens and Omega, Silver, Blaze, and Rouge fall deep down lower into the depths. Look! Whoa, that's a whole lot of egg mechs! Looks like using the fake emeralds has some nasty side effects. I guess they don't call them chaos for nothing. Let's get him out of there! As Rouge makes her way closer to Shadow, more Shadow androids begin to emerge. Back of our other group of heroes, Tails, Sonic, Amy, and Tangle are making their way up to Eggman. Got it! Okay, first we break into the control room. Second, Tails disables Eggman's safeguards for the fake Emerald Power Grid. That way we can rescue Whisper and Lanolin. And crashing the system will stop the city from growing, right? Yup! Otherwise, the city will keep expanding forever. That's my hypothesis, at least. 
If I still had the Miles Electric, I'd know for sure. I said it was an accident. Why'd we stop? Going by the sound, I'd say something's wrong with the cable system? But what? I think I might have an idea. Before our heroes can make it up any higher, Metal cuts the rope, causing their platform to fall. Thankfully, Tails is there and able to fly them out of danger, but not before Metal targets Sonic. Sonic! You sneaky jerk! Try beating up my friends when you can't see! Thanks, Tangle! Flashing back to Rouge's group, we can see they're being overwhelmed by the Shadow Androids. We're running out of time, people! Can't get an opening. Stand down. If it is an opening you require, then I will provide. Ugh, it's overpowering. I'm not getting bossed around by some overgrown rock. Ugh! We can't even get close. I can handle it! If I can just figure out why it's... Ugh! Despite being overpowered by the fake emerald, Silver continues further. Ugh! This is bad! It's growing faster than I can tear it off! Maybe this is more than I can... Silver! Right. Get ready to be free, Shadow! Cause I'm not giving up that easily! Ah, that must be Shadow. His chaos controls made the fake emeralds unstable. Keep it up, fool! The more you try to use the emeralds, the bigger they'll get! More power for me in my city. But boss, isn't that dangerous? If the city's infrastructure can't keep up... That's what my safeguards are for. Even if the Emerald's power overloads, which it won't, I'll just reboot the system again. Surprise, Eggie! Sorry we didn't knock. Gah! What did you do to Metal? Someone is getting a very strict software patch after this. Egad! Just you and me, Metal. Ah, not again. Let's dance. Is that all you got? I wanna fight, not play patty cake. I must have left my combat subordinates in my backup drive! Sonic's got metal handled. No backup for you. Ah, useless. Do I have to do everything around here? Amy! <laughs> With Sonic and Amy disposed of, Tails begins to quickly type, trying to finish overloading the system before he's captured. <laughs> Stop that! No! No! You have no idea what you've done! Without the limiter, there's nothing stopping the Emerald Grove! Fine. With all options lost, Eggman hits a button, activating the city itself. Time for Plan B! Next time, Plan B? Oh no! And so ends issue 60, or as I like to call it, the non-stop action issue where things keep continuing to spiral out of control. And despite the amount of action in this issue, there's actually a lot of character moments in this as well. But we'll get to that in just a second. First, a recap. Picking up where the last issue left off, Tangle is still falling towards the city. It's here we learn that Tangle is almost completely intangible of everything she touches, to include the floor which she's able to bounce back from. However, not all is well as Metal Sonic begins giving chase to her. And this is something I've always liked about the Sonic books and every other media, Metal Sonic is always portrayed as this unstoppable Terminator-like figure. For most of the cast, fighting Metal Sonic is a death wish. Very few characters can put up a fight against him, and it goes to show how deadly and scary he can be when he's not just fighting Sonic. Because let's be real, Tangle's an amateur fighter, and she is no match for Metal. Despite this, she does manage to get away from him, or so she thinks. After a brief bit of self-doubt, she's able to shake out of it and quickly refocus to get back onto the mission. Something I rather admire about her character is that she's able to bounce back quickly. I think bouncing is just an overall theme for this character. She's bouncy, she bounces, and no matter what happens, she always seems to get back up. However, not all is well as Metal Sonic is actually well aware of her presence and decides to follow her back to the main group. Speaking of the main group, they're still debating the next best course of action, especially after the last plan to use the fake Chaos Emeralds failed, nearly taking out the whole city block and losing Shadow and Omega in the process. It's only then that Tangle makes her presence known when she pops out of Tails' Miles Electric, to which Amy promptly smashes. This panel right here is just amazing. I love the facial expression. Amy would have straight up killed Tangle there if she hadn't been intangible. Like, damn, Amy, calm down! Pink Monster Reflexes nearly killed somebody! 
A moment of silent and effing chats for Tails' is Miles Electric. Look at this poor boy. He had that thing since unleashed and now it's gone. Once our heroes regroup and Tangle begins to explain what's going on, a trap is sprung which nearly takes out Sonic. Thankfully, thanks to his quick reflexes, he's able to dodge the attack and hold off Metal Sonic as he begins his attack. Just look at the expression on Sonic's face. You know he loves fighting Metal Sonic. At this point, he's like an adrenaline junkie. He gets off on fighting Metal Sonic. It, not like that, though. It's during this fight that Tangle informs the others about the traps that they use to trap Lanolin and Whisper. And before Silver is caught by one of the traps, Blaze steps in for backup. Look at how heated she got protecting Silver. Even she knows that this Cinnabon is to be protected. They're just really good friends, guys. Really, really good friends. With everybody stepping in to try to stop Metal Sonic, Pink Monster gets super angry and decides to just haul off and hit the ground for Pico Hammer. This causes a cave-in which promptly knocks out Metal Sonic. What a power, man! Amy is super strong in these comics. I know she's powerful in the games as well, but like, for a small pink hedgehog about her size, she packs a punch! Definitely makes you very sorry for whoever tries to harm Sonic. Whoever that may be. With Metal Sonic temporarily taken out the way, Silver, Blaze, and Rouge continue deeper down into the depths to try to find Omega and Shadow. Surprisingly, they find Omega in one piece. Unsurprisingly, they find that he's still fighting. Look at this man! Even being buried underneath the rubble, he's still attacking the Shadow androids. Look at this one! He's out! Omega has no chill. However, one more earthquake causes the entire area to cave in. Leaving Blaze, Silver, Rouge, and Omega to fall down deeper, finding Shadow trapped behind the fake Chaos Emeralds he had tried to use earlier. Going back to our other heroes, Amy is already formulating a plan for Sonic, Tails, Tangle, and her to initiate once they get to Eggman. Though they're immediately stopped by Metal, who continues to be a pain in their necks. Like damn, Metal is relentless. The man doesn't know when to stop. And even after the platform is knocked out from underneath them and Tails manages to fly them to safety, he still goes after Sonic. Like, the amount of focus, persistence, anger, and pettiness that this robot has for Sonic is unmatched. I don't even think Surge has this much hate in her heart for Sonic. Either way, Tangle offers an assist, managing to help free Sonic. While back underground, Rouge, Omega, Blaze, and Silver are still trying to break Shadow out from behind the fake Chaos Emeralds. Their power proving to be too much for most of the heroes to handle, until Silver steps up and has his shining moment, but finds that he's quickly overwhelmed. Something I like here is that Blaze is the one that gives him reaffirmation that he can do it. Once again hammering the point that these two are just really, really good friends. That's all there is to it. Just. Good. Friends. Sonic, Tails, Amy, and Tangle break into Eggman's headquarters. Still fighting Metal Sonic, I may add. And something I like that happens here is that Amy just pushes Eggman out the way so that Tails can start hacking away at his computer. Like, there's no respect here at all for Eggman. But even while Sonic has Metal distracted in a fight, Amy holds Eggman at hammer point, to which he once again proves that he has the master plan and a Glock. What is it with Eggman constantly being strapped with weapons? God dang, this man pulls out guns like I've never seen. Like just when you think you have Eggman right where you want him, boom, escape pod, boom, gun, boom, banana slamma. I don't know, something about him just using guns now is just really fun for me. As Amy nearly gets shot, Sonic gets distracted from his fight, and winds up getting knocked the hell out for it. There's something for you Sonic fans to grip onto. And with Sonic and Amy knocked out, Tails has no further support to back him up as he tries to hack away at Eggman's systems. And these panels right here are some of my favorites. For something about Eggman just picking Tails up like this, like he's a small plush toy, is just really funny to me. Like I know Sonic and the others are relatively small compared to Eggman, but just him picking Tails up as he's trying to type away and Tails is just doing desperately anything he can to stop him, it's just really funny to me. He's just holding him like a, like a little plush toy. But despite Eggman's best attempts to try to stop Tails, he does manage to finish his hacking, stopping the limiters and allowing the fake Chaos Emeralds to grow at an unstoppable rate. This seems to wake up Shadow from his stasis, as well as make Eggman initiate his Plan B. What is Plan B? I guess we'll find out next issue. So yeah, overall this issue was very, very action-packed. I appreciate a lot of the fun references here. There's a lot of Silver and Blaze moments in this, as well as a Son Amy moment for the Son Amy shippers out there. Some funny moments and panels here with especially Amy trying to take out Tangle on accident. That is funny to me. 
Amy was this close to committing a murder. Metal Sonic continuing to be a persistent and very, very dangerous threat, as well as seeing Rouge care about Shadow and Omega's well-being. Again, despite Sonic Team's claims that they are not a real team, I do like that they do value each other as friends. So seeing Rouge genuinely concerned about Omega and Shadow made me feel good. And Omega, Omega, Omega. I take back what I said about you last issue. I love that you're still fighting these Shadow androids, even when Rubble is buried on top of you like that. You get mad respect, Omega. Nothing stops you from trying to tear up some Eggman robots. Not even the threat of death. That being said, I'm kind of curious about Shadow in this one. It seemed like he was either out cold in a form of chaos stasis, or maybe he was still trying to hold off the fake Emerald's power. Because something that's noteworthy is he only wakes up once the limiters are disabled. Which makes me think that so long as the limiters were on, Shadow was permanently stuck in that stasis. Unable to get out of the chaos loop himself. It's really hard to tell, actually. With Eggman's plan B now in motion, it seems like we're ramping up to something big. I for one can't wait to see it. Let me know what you guys think is happening, both to the fake Chaos Emerald City and to Shadow. It looks like Shadow's gonna play some sort of big role in these upcoming issues, as well as Lanolin and Whisperer, who seem to be returning in the next issue. Can't wait to see it, y'all. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and give this issue an 8 out of 10. Thanks for watching all the way to the very end. I appreciate y'all. Be sure to share this video with your friends if they're interested. Because I'm gonna be real, your boy's getting a little bit sad seeing the view count on some of these videos. This video is brought to you by my patrons. LF222 Joey Salad1206 Kaylin Meyer Maverick Marcy Martin The Marble Gardener Dacia Doodles Ricky Gouet Christopher Anderson Nazire Barogard Max Muller, Hawkin125, No Name, Kiara, Preston King, Jeffrey Doll, Jack Thorne, Seiko, Anthony Sampson, Dennis Taylor, A. Powers, Gail Kuhn, Kara Rollman, Jack Rigg, Nilza Houdinu, Rantara Sivakado, Little Rara, Black Flash 09, Lord Kitsune, aka Kinus Fox, Leon, Sarah McMinimi, The Zarai, Hotshot Ninja, Ruckus 3K, Chris, Green, Hedge. You guys are my heroes.